Welcome back, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today we are building the Tamiya Tamiya TTO two uh, Mustang GT four Ford Mustang TT GT four GT four Yeah. TTO <laughs> yeah. two. Yeah, we already said TTO two. So we're, today we're putting on the Yeah Racing uh, aluminum steering set and their uh, tie rod set. And the steering set is TTO2-042 and the tie rod set is TT02-012. Okay, and first thing we gotta do is get these turnbuckles all set up. And you see where it says how long they need to be? Yeah. It says, what's that say? 30.5 millimeter yeah, and this one is 41 millimeter for the longer one This is the one that connects to the servo and Then you got the two short ones and I've already done one So we will do the other ones Let's see and this is the right hand thread It's hard to see those tiny little threads on here What I do on these is I give it one turn and then put this one on one turn. And then from there I just count one, two, three. That way, that way you get the same amount of thread inside the the rod end on both of them. At the right length, so just need to go a little bit more. get that flipped around again. Okay, close enough. Okay, so now we're going to have this going on here. like so wow what's up with that did I put it on upside down That is super tight. Hmm. Super duper tight. That shouldn't, that should just be falling off there. That's terrible. It will work itself in. You want to try to put that one on? Yeah. Just give her a good squeeze. Tell me when it's good. It'll pop. You'll know. Right there? Keep going. There it is. Okay. My God. Oh, 
All right. Doesn't seem to matter which way you put those on. There's not one side bigger than the other, it doesn't seem like. Let's go ahead and put this in there too while we're at it. And see, these will connect to ball studs right there. You see? You want to put Loctite on those? Just make sure it's plugged up. Just a little teeny tiny drop. Oh no, that's too much. Put it on the other one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and that goes in this hole right here. Right here? Mm-hmm. The, the one closest to you. Oh, it's going in there. Oh, eh, it dropped. At least there's Loctite in it. So. Oh, God, I really need a paper shower. Oh, God. It's okay. Just put it in the hole like that. Dang, it hurt you. As I was looking closer, I might have got it on me. It's all right. And my hair is probably. Well, quit putting your hands in your hair with Loctite on them. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. I can't sure I don't have Loctite on it. Let me see. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. There's all the ball studs in. And we just got to pop these down on here. themselves in. It's really tight. You see? Yeah. So this rod. But how does the motor control the steering even though it's all the motor doesn't control the steering. The motor only controls oh, these four it? axles. Oh, I see. This controls the steering. It's another motor. The servo motor. Everything's almost like a motor. Yeah. Well it's like you're building a tiny robot. I should have done this when it was out of the car. I forgot this one piece. It's okay. We'll get it. Yep. Now you can scratch it up driving it instead of scratching it up with tools. <laughs> this goes over here. See? Yep. Okay. Next we're going to put the servo in. And I bought these off of eBay and it came with this aluminum arm. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, instead of the servo saver. This car is not going to create enough problems with this servo that it's going to hurt anything. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll put her there. I'm just going to snug these up. what those do they basically see a split yeah when you tighten that screw up and that screw up it basically crushes that around that shaft and yeah. tightens that up on there oops <laughs> you're just screwing nothing okay we'll just do it like that for right now then we gotta put these pieces on here. And we need a, let's see here.
Those, the, see the round parts? Yeah. They go up. Then we get a washer and MC3 screw. And the MC3 screws this. How you screw? Little black one. So we've got two of those and the two washers. Here, there we go. That's easier to get the washer out. Yeah. Okay, so you want to put one of those on each screw? Yep. Every screw you hand me. Just put one on each of them. Big one. Okay. And there's two. Is there another screw supposed to go in here? Yeah, I might put a screw in there, but I don't know. It doesn't call for one. It just says put one on the top. It doesn't really need it because there's a screw going in right here that's going to hold those. The only thing I'm worried about is that servo, but it's, it's on there pretty good. Usually you just put two screws in. And thinking about it, I probably should have put it in there so you get them diagonal and that stops it from being able to go like this because right now it's only got that point right there holding it, but it'll be okay. Now we need, let's see, MA3s and those are, those look like the flathead screws. MA3s, yeah, it's a flathead screw. And those are... Is that them? Yep. Yeah, that's them. Need three of them uh, up here. No? Yeah. Yeah, right there. That's good. That's good. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Where did I put it? Is this one it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I dropped it. <coughs> it's like the paper is my What is the third one for? Where's the third? Oh, there it is. Oh, and the antenna post. You know? Do we even... And that's where it's the antenna post. D12. I've already cut that off, I'm sure. Yeah, it's right here. There's the antenna post. Okay. Where's the third one, though? One arm goes in that, and the other two go here. Mm. So this goes in here like so. Oh. Let's make sure this is going to reach. So, this screw yeah. will probably go on this one? Yeah, from the bottom of the car. Yeah, right. Put that over there. Line this guy up here. Run that back there. Now let's see if I can line these holes up. Right there. Yeah, there they are. One hole there. But this is better than the regular one, the chassis. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much like the uh, the hop ups are really good for your car, but when you put them in, it's really hard to put in. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's a sometimes it's a little more difficult because you're not following the instructions; you're following somebody else's instructions. There you go. There we go. Okay. There's the servo in now. This is where the antenna tower goes. Wait a minute. Wait, where does it go? Uh, 
Oh, you've got to put the receiver wire through there before you put that in. Okay. I was going to say, because it looks like it's going to be hard to get that antenna in there if we put that put that on there first. So the receiver is going to sit right up here on the... Yeah. The receiver will go right here. I need that. Double side tape. Yeah. And it's just the right width. It's just a little wide though. Where's my marker? I'm not getting away with my big head. You want to cut that off right there? Yep. It even comes with a... There you go. Not bad. Oil? No, nope. alcohol. Oh. Just going to clean this oh, off so, so the sticker... Like Smells like hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Probably because it's made out of hand sanitizer. No, it's hand sanitizer has alcohol in it. Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay. So now we've got this. We'll just stick this right there, like so. Press it down real good. Okay. And we'll peel this off. Oh, so it's oh wait now I see. There you go. Now it's on there for good. Alright, this goes... Wait, where'd the screw go? Right here. Oh. <laughs> this will go up through here. I thought the antenna tube was for protection. Okay, and this is going to come out the side. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to try to hold that there. <coughs> that. <coughs> Over there. Where'd that screw go? Right here. Okay, let me see it. Right in there. Yep. I knew it. That was a little tricky. But we got her done. It was tricky, but no problems, I don't think. Make sure we're not pinching the antenna. Yeah, see, it's still moving. Yeah. So. Now, if we wanted to put the tube on there, we could run the antenna right up through the tube and slide it down in there, but we're not using that, yeah. that tube. Well, yeah, you also do need double-sided tape for this thing. That comes with it. Oh. Yeah. I don't even That's remember. See, there's some it. there. There's some there. That's there's some there. there. Oh. We got all kinds of double sided tape with this stuff. That's probably why it costed extra. <laughs> no. Um, what's next? Okay. Now I'm not putting the motor shroud on there. We'll run this and see if this is getting hot. And if it's getting hot, we'll put a fan on it. Which um, is, wait, which, is that the ESC then? No, that's the servo. Oh. This is the ESC. Then we don't need a fan then, because Well, the fan's on the ESC, but the motor also gets hot. You know how your oh, granite... Oh, I thought, I thought it like... You know how your granite has a motor there and there? Yeah. 
so the motor gets hot as well. But I, I don't think this one's going to get hot because we go to 13.5 T, and with the gearing set up and everything in here, it should be okay. I I think. I thought the this just like everything, like most of the parts that were like hot, like warm, they it would cool it off. Well, see the vents there. Yeah. So this fan will pull air in and blow it out, so it'll cool the motor a little bit. But if this gets hot, you can buy a, mo a heat sink and a fan to put on here. But I don't think we're going to need it. We'll see. I'm going to run these wires. And I don't normally trim the wires off of an ESC. I usually try to leave them as long as I can. But this ESC is pretty cool because you can unsolder the wires and take them off and replace them with new wires. A lot of the ESCs, the wires are actually down inside here and it's all glued together and you can't get in there to fix them. Yeah. So, but this one's nice because you can take the wires off and replace them with whatever you want. So, so you I'm just going to trim these off to where it's nice and clean and run them right there like so. And probably zip tie them in a few places. And some of you might saw that and some of you didn't look closer enough. It's right there. Like they're hanging out and not, there's nothing there. Yeah. This is the board that actually controls everything inside. It goes all the way into here. Yeah. And they just got it sticking out the side and got the wire soldered on there so you can access them. See, normally this would be all covered up with the housing and you wouldn't see that. And you couldn't get to it because they've got it all glued in. So if you cut these wires off, can't get them. you can't get in there to change them. Yeah. So... If you keep snipping them and snipping them, eventually you have no wires left. So you don't normally don't cut these off, but since these are able to be taken off and resoldered back on, it doesn't matter. All right, guys, we have to apologize. The uh, installation of the ESC and setting it up, the uh, the calibration of the uh, ESC. And the receiver that part of the video we had technical problems yeah so basically the car is done we just need the body painted and all that yeah and put the decals on but yeah <laughs> we'll, well we're gonna do the body um, start the body today and get some masking done on it and we'll we'll get that video up as soon as we get that finished but um, final thoughts on this car. This is this is the first time I've ever worked on a Tamiya car. Yep. Um, and for I think around one hundred and twenty dollars is what this kit costs without the without these hop up you know the hop ups the motor and ESC that we use and the, all the yeah racing stuff. Just as a stock car, based on the videos I've seen, they're this the steering stuff that's why i went with the upgraded steering because all the videos i saw this is really sloppy in the stock kits and still even with this yeah racing set on here you have this it, it would be your your upper attachment to your a-arm it is it is so loose and sloppy and we already have we've driven this car and i, I didn't get any footage of it driving because we were just doing a couple test runs to check the See if the motor was going to get hot. And it was so uncontrollable. I, I mean, the car just wants to spin out. It's got a lot of power, though. But um, we had a problem with one of these bolts was loose. Yeah, Racing already had this assembled, and I didn't even, I didn't even take it apart to uh, check it. But we pulled these out and put Loctite on them. So that's fixed. That was part of the problem. So I went back out for another test run, and the car, it, it won't drive a straight line. Yes, it won't drive a straight line up. It's, it's like, it handles a lot better. We can actually drive it now, but you can see here just all that play. And this one's worse. And if we just grab it right here, you can actually see how much slop that has. Yeah. It, it's kind of crazy. And, it, and it's not meant for like a little drag race because it... <laughs> it won't do straight. Yeah. Yeah, if you've got a short track with short straightaways... Um, I, my plan is to get the uh, yeah racing adjustable upper arms front and rear. The, the rears are fine. There's a little bit of play back there, but nothing like there is on the front. This this whole assembly here, that's just a bad design. I, I don't even understand it. 
And then you don't have any triangulation here. It's basically just this attachment and then this little skinny attachment here. Whereas the back, you've got a little more triangulation. It's wider back here. So you've got basically one, two, three points. So you've got a triangle here. And triangles are one of the strongest shapes in the design world when you're designing something. You know, I'm trying to look at like that. But you see, you see how skinny this arm is? It's yeah. just like a straight bar. So that, that just allows for a lot of play here and here. And this, you've got basically two points of attachment and then one point up here. So it makes it a lot more stable. So overall thoughts on the car, I, I, I'm not really impressed with the Tamiya, this Tamiya chassis and I understand it's an entry level kit. Um, I would like to try some of the other Tamiya chassis to see you know what kind of improvements those have over this design. But yeah, we're pretty much done. We might not upload much videos now, after, or like after we get like the body painted, because we have to like we might have to buy more cars to get y'all entertained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. yeah. This might be. We'll, we'll get the body done, and then we'll call call it the wraps on the TTO two. We still have another one to build. We have a uh, the NSX. We might throw that up here. Um, probably yeah. at least the unboxing not sure we're probably gonna build it stock just so we get a comparison of how of, fast they yeah of how fast that is compared to this, to this. yeah and we might do a little drag race video yeah I really want to do a drag race and see what we get but it's, until I get these upper arms in here I'm not gonna drive this too much because it's it's just it's super squirrely you'll be driving in a straight line it'll go about 25 30 feet and then it just starts veering off one way or the other and, and there's no there's no controlling it i mean it just i i don't see how you could drive this in but, a straight line without fixing this yeah you have to fix this and that's this is tight i've tightened these both up um i thought about taking this off and putting a little shim back here because there is a little play right there that's that's causing part of the problem there's just a little bit right here and right here but most but, of it's right here yeah most of it's right here but we still have to fix probably all of them yeah. that back's probably fine but we still have to put the body post on but we'll do we'll include that in the in the body video once we get the body going oh yeah and we like we might may or may not create these cars at, at there i don't know if they already exist or not they got like Turn the back wheels and the front wheels. It's yeah, we did have these wheels on there. But I, I ordered these wheels off Tamiya, and I like them. They look really cool. Yeah. Um, they they will match the color if we just paint it the right color as the Mustang body. Yeah, I don't have the, the gray color that's on the box art, so I don't think we're going to do box art color. Yeah. We're going to have to find something else. I've got a slew of Createx. Uh, I even have some Tamiya colors. I want to paint it. Oh, wait, I've got that silver. We could use that silver, but PS sixty three. I don't. That may be the right gray. I'm not sure. I want to paint it this, but Brayden doesn't want to paint that color. I, I'm not a big fan. He wants some box art. Uh, maybe we'll paint it this. It looks better with box art when I'm imagining it. Uh, yeah. I'm not a big fan of box art paint jobs, even even though to me, to me, a fans like to get upset with people when they don't follow the box art, but I'm just not a box art kind of guy. I, I like I, I, I like box customize art. everything. I mean, I could go with a different color, but I just like box art way, way better because it looks cooler and it adds more design to it. So. Mm. It adds to me as design to it. <laughs> what? I think it adds to me as design to it. I want to design my own paint job for it. Um. I'd like to do like uh, maybe black with some real flames on the side of it and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, we do have some flames though. Yeah, like, grab that. Just peeled off the wall. <laughs> this was my first attempt at real flames. So, I was thinking something like that on the car with a green and blue, maybe, or, or something like that. But it, it was very, it's very good for a first attempt though. Yeah, that's the very first time I've ever tried True Fly, True Fire, and that's painted. This is just a clear piece of paper, and I don't know why it's got this blue film to it. And why there, there's. there's but if you take, you take a little drop of. Yeah, 
Alcohol. Alcohol and smear on here. You see, it's uh, got that weird film on it. Yeah. But anyway, this is all painted from the backside just to test how, how hard it would be to paint True Fire on Lexan. Because it's not so hard to paint True Fire from the top side. But when you paint it on Lexan, you have to do everything different. You have to, you have to spray your candy colors first. And you have to kind of know where your flames are going to go and spray the true fire and then come in with the white to, to bring out the detail. This, all you see here is, is the white. The fade is yellow green and then blue out here, but the blue doesn't really even show up. Yeah. But I sprayed but. the candy first and then come in. I sprayed the yellow, then I sprayed a little bit of white, sprayed the green, sprayed a little bit of white and sprayed the blue and then sprayed some more white details but. and then covered it all with black. Yeah. And once you spray it with black, it pops. Yeah. And it pretty much came out pretty good, but we had some trouble with that receiver and all that. So. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, finally got the, we took it out for a test run, and when we found out this was all squirrely, I brought it back in, changed a few settings on the, uh, added the reverse, because it comes with just forward, forward it only for like race mode. So I turned on the uh, brake so he can, or the brake and reverse, forward brake reverse setting. I like brake it. So he could go backwards because he likes I, I, it. I like going backwards if I, because I, if I'm like stuck and rammed into something, I can't just go like. You have to walk back. over and pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> and it like, it's just stuck there. This is the fence. This is the car. And what I usually think about doing is just like keep on running it and it would sometimes back out because the pressure up against the fence. And I like doing that because I can turn and keep on doing that until I get out of the fence <laughs> So you area. like to drive it into the fence and see if it comes out of it? Yeah, but that doesn't work that much. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's been a fun build. Um, not one of my favorites. Uh, I, I've built a lot of Kyosho cars, and, and I, I for $265, $269, you can buy a, a Turbo Scorpion. $249, you can get a regular Scorpion. And if you like building cars, I suggest I suggest trying out a Kyosho Scorpion or a Turbo Scorpion or when they come back in stock. Right now they're out of stock till July to August. Depends on which car you're looking at. Oh, um, yeah. Our next build is probably going to be a Kyosho Javelin. I forgot yesterday was my birthday. And, yeah, yeah today's my birthday, so I, I want almost all you guys to say to come and happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, we didn't really make a video yesterday, did we? No. No, we was working on the, uh, we worked on the, uh, granite. Brayden took it out for a test run, and, and it was. Yeah, something it, went wrong. It was raining. Yeah, it was And raining. it was just muddy, 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 muddy. And the truck came back, just, you, you couldn't hardly see anything on the truck. It was just a mud ball. And we had to tear it completely apart and clean everything out. We got it looking pretty decent now, but that's what we did yesterday. But, yeah, and then it, it looked like it was going to storm. We heard some, like, thunder, and uh, a few minutes later, there was no storm. <laughs> I was like, did, where's the storm? Did it disintegrate? But it had rained all that day. Yeah, it did rain, though. You're talking about the day we took the granite out for a run? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we took it over to there's a there's a place across the the field from us where there there's dirt and there big piles of dirt and stuff. It's like a gravel pit, but there's not really not really gravel there. It's just all dirt. Yeah. So we went over there and it was just mud, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, the truck, the granite flew through the mud. But anyway, we're getting a little bit off topic. But yeah. we'll uh, we'll get this the body going on this, and we'll come back with that video shortly. So, hasta la vista. Yep. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, sh share, subscribe. That's Facebook. I think you can share. Yeah, you can share. Yeah, you can share, but you don't have to because most people don't. Yeah. Leave a comment what you think about the series so far. Yeah. And uh, we'll TGA be back. two series. It's really good. Yeah, we'll be back with the body. So, yeah. thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.